Gianna, local lawmakers say that action needs to be taken to prevent these kinds of blooms from happening in the first place. But right now, the Department of Health is urging all visitors and residents to avoid coming in contact with any of the blue-green algae being found in the Port Mayaka Lock area right now. The toxin microcystin was found along the St. Lucie Canal, close to the South Fork of the St. Lucie River. Congressman Brian Mass tweeted this photo over the weekend saying the visible algae in Port Mayaka tested nearly three times more toxic than safe levels. Meanwhile, Congressman Mast, along with State Senator Gail Harrell and State Representative Toby Overdorf, have sent a letter to the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers asking them to stop all discharges from Lake Okeechobee. They say that this would go a long way to eliminate the harmful algae blooms like this one right now. State Representative Overdorf says the Lake Okeechobee discharges, along with the local runoff, creates a perfect recipe for these blooms. We add the discharges on top of that, and all of a sudden you're in a catastrophic situation where uh, you have the nutrients um, combined from out west with our nutrients here locally from our local runoff, and it's just a, it turns into, a, as we've seen, a, uh, a pea green soup. Now, exposure to blue-green algae can cause gastrointestinal effects if swallowed and can also cause rashes if touched or inhaled. State leaders tell us the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is considering stopping those discharges as one of their options for moving forward. Now, we have reached out to the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, but have not heard back at this time. Again, they are still considering exactly what they're going to do. Gianna?